Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be going over a pretty quick lesson. We're going to be learning how to remove the dynamic block function out of a dynamic block. This is going to be pretty easy and straightforward, and this is not just how to delete a block. Again, it's how to remove the dynamic function from a dynamic block. We'll get into that in the video. Before we get into the video, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you like the video, give it a like down below. If you think someone else could use this video or find it helpful, send it to a friend. And if you want to see anything else done, leave it in the comment section below. All right, so let's get into it. As I alluded in the beginning of the video, we're going to learn how to delete dynamic or the dynamic function out of a dynamic block. We're not just learning how to delete a block here. If you want to learn how to delete a block, I have a video that I'll post up above, but in this one, we're going to learn how to delete the dynamic function out of a dynamic block. So with that being said, I have one block already. We're going to come up here and we're going to click the insert button and we're going to insert block one. Now, as you can see here, once I insert that and I select it, I have this little pick box that I can move back and forth and I can actually move again the couple of shapes objects out of the box or out of the block and that's what makes this block dynamic. Now we want to not be able to move it we just want the block to be standard and kind of unmodifiable so the way we're going to do that we're going to first of all escape we're going to delete this block and we're going to come up here to edit. Once we click edit, you can see there's only one block in here. We're just going to click block one, which is what we just saw. And real quick, before we click the OK button, I want you to see this little lightning bolt symbol on the bottom right hand corner right here. That means your block is a dynamic block. It has a dynamic function attached to it. So we're going to click OK. Now, once you click OK, it's going to bring you into the block editor page. And to delete the block, you have the first block right here in front of you or to excuse me, to delete the dynamic block, we're going to come down here and we're going to right click, not left click, right click, and we are going to click delete. Once you click delete, we are also going to find this position one. We are going to select it and then we are going to erase it. And then you are done. Now, when you're done doing this, you're going to want to close block editor, left hand click, save the changes to the block. You always want to save the changes. And then when we insert the block, you can see here that we can select it. And the only thing I can do is move the entire block. It is not a dynamic block anymore. Just to verify, we're going to go into edit. And as you can see here, block one, it no longer has that little lightning bolt symbol. All right, so that's going to wrap up the video here. Again, very short lesson, very simple, very basic. If you see a dynamic block and you don't want to take the dynamic portion out, you don't have to, you can leave it in. It will not hurt anything, but sometimes you just don't want the dynamic block to be dynamic, so you just want to turn it into a regular block. This is how you do it without erasing the entire block or without purging the entire block. Again, thank you for the support. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments section, and I'll see you guys in the next one.